According to the latest virus samples that underwent genome sequencing by the CDC, all 17 returned as variants of concern. The latest set of results are from virus samples collected between April and May. 15 were identified as the UK variant, one as the South African variant, one as the Brazil-Japan variant. Additionally, of the 17 variants of concern, three were travel-related and identified in the GovGuam quarantine facility, while 14 had no known travel history. I think um, with, with the variants, knowing that they're here and knowing that we have the capacity, you know, to to contain it using our strategies is... is um, is good news, you know. According to Chief Public Health Officer Chima Mbakwem, the public should not be alarmed about the variants because all these cases had completed quarantine and isolation. What he does point out is that they were not vaccinated. Mbakwem adding public health's plans have been working with multiple access points for vaccinations, quarantine and isolation protocols, and increasing community testing opportunities. But everyone needs to continue to hold the line. The question is, how much longer are we going to be like this? So that is now the question, you know, are people going to continue doing what we're doing? Yeah. What, what, are, what are the next steps, you know, to continue, you know, being at this level? How do we open up our island? How do we open up our schools? How do we, you know, how do people interact? So this is now what we're going to look at, you know, how do we maintain this good record? Right. So, so that, that, that's, that's where we're going to. And one of those things is everyone getting vaccinated. The total number of variants on Guam is now 51 out of a total of 138 virus samples that have been submitted to the CDC for genome sequencing to date. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Sabrina Salas, Matanani.